Hey guys, it's Emma back again with another book review. Spoiler free review. Today I want to talk about The Year of the Flood by Margaret Atwood. It is the second book in the Mad Adam series. The first book I also made a review on, it's called Orcs and Crake. Um, I had to read it in school, but I bought the whole series and I was getting through it pretty slowly because it was I was in a reading slump. But now, after I finished this one and I'm halfway through the next one, I can say Orcs and Crake was good. But The Year of the Flood really let you into a lot more of the world and Margaret Atwood um, let us see so much more. You didn't need to read the second book because it's each one almost stands on its own. They're in the same world, same time period, but they like have their own characters and their own people that they're following. So the year of the flood, it's following um, two people, Toby and Ren. They both ended up in this weird cult of like vegetarian people. Um, and that's how they knew each other, but both their storylines kind of drift apart from each other. And actually, they meet the main character from the previous book too, Snowman uh, or Jimmy. And it really lets you in on an insight to Jimmy's life and who he was because the story was told from his point of view. So he was one of the untrustable narrators and you're like, who is this dude? He's insane. Snowman is Jimmy, they're all crazy. But now you're looking at two people that are a bit more sane who are looking at Jimmy and I've been like, what the hell is this guy? And why is he, why is he so weird? <laughs> so I like this book because it, it has going up to these events, but not someone who's participating in the destruction of the world, but more the aftermath of the world. And since they were part of this like group together, they actually survived and they know how to live off of the land, how to make their own food, how to treat themselves with not like untrustable drugs or whatever. Since this is a very dystopian, like futuristic world ending series, like of course Margaret Atwood loves. So I think adding this second book in really brings out a lot of the First, there's some internal drama, there's some problems within, and it it showed us more of the world and more of what was going on. Because when you look at Jimmy's side, you're kind of like, dang, the world should end. Like, it's pretty crappy. But now you're looking at this side and you're like, well, I'm not sure. And a lot of people actually did survive. So it's a bit, it's, it undermines the first book, which is really powerful and really good. And uh, the third book actually just follows Toby so far. So we get to know the characters a lot better. And they go on their own journey to find the Krakers, to figure out what happened to the world, and to see if they can make it better, if they can survive. So if you have read Orcs and Crake, amazing book. Margaret Atwood, anything she writes is pretty damn amazing. But the second book in the series, which again, you don't need to read any of the other books. They kind of work by themselves, but it adds a lot. So I would recommend reading The Year of the Flood. And the next book is Mad Adam. So I'm in the middle of that and we'll see how the series wraps up. But if you've read the first two books or just the first one, comment down below, tell me what you thought, and any other book recommendations, I'd love to hear them. See ya!